This is all about my life as a diabetic. Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Leek with all things Leek the Nail Geek. If you're new, go ahead and scroll over to the bottom right and click that logo to subscribe. And if you haven't followed me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, do so. All things Leek the Nail Geek or at Leek the Nail Geek. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started. This is the 770G pump. Removing the tape. And removing the little insert here. This is just where your reservoir goes. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the battery. Get the clip out. You use the tip of the clip to screw on the battery cap. Push in. There we go. All right, so I'm back. I have my pump set up, my personal settings. Now it's time to sync my meter. I'm gonna sync that first. So I'm getting it out. Here's the meter. Here's the pump. And you see, I have not attached it to myself because I want to make sure I get it syncing first, and then we'll go from there. Turning on my meter, and I'm gonna go down to settings and press OK. I'm going to go ahead and set the time. I'm going to go to wireless and on the pump I'm going to click on utilities, device option, pair device and then I'm going to click search. When you click wireless on here and search on here um, it says a vacuum check meter. It says no pump pair, pair now. You click yes. So the pump is searching. And there you go. They're paired. I'm going to click pair of device. Search. As it's searching, I'm going to remove the transmitter. And it's going to blink. Green lights. It found the device. So I'm going to just check that, and it is, and it's finishing up the pairing. Pairing successful, by the way. Yay! So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bumper, the pink bumper from my old phone. This is the 670G, and this is the new 770G. So, I'm excited. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff over to here and then we'll be back and we'll start to connect everything. So this is my Mio. This is what connects the pump to me and gets the insulin flowing through it. And now I am priming my pump to get it ready for the reservoir, which is a needle that has a detachable blue part, which is the needle part and the handle as well. So it's like a syringe. And now I'm getting the actual Mio ready. You can see the needle there. Loading it. Filling the tubing and now attaching to myself. So now I'm going to push the needle in, secure the tape, and fill the cannula. Filling, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is the sensor. Alright, so you're going to put this on top. You'll hear it click. You guys heard it click. You place your two fingers here and you just pull up. It does expose the needle. When you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. Now it looks like this. All right, so you do wanna go two inches above, so I'm gonna go here. That way it's always above your, your other site, at least two inches. You also wanna make sure it's two inches away from your belly button. And you just firmly hold it and push the two green buttons on each side. It goes in, you leave it there for a second. Make sure that the adhesive is getting to your skin and then you just pull it up. You hold on both sides and the needle retracts. I try to keep this tape down, which is why I placed the bigger part on this tape. 
This is what, as soon as it hits water, it gets really loose for me, even with the transmitter on there. There's a little hole where the needle was, so I try to make sure that that is not covered. So, so now adding the new transmitter, you're gonna hear it click. And you should see it glow green, which means that it's good. Your pump automatically picks it up. It says start new sensor. Now the warm up time will be two hours. So we have two hours before we need to collaborate. And then there's a bar to show you. While we wait for the sensor to warm up, I'll go ahead and go to the Minimed app and it gives you a warning. I click it started. So you have to click yes. My pump has is simple. And we have the 770G. So I'm gonna select that. Allow the push notifications. Select that on the pump. Go to utilities, device options, pair device. And now it's pairing. And you get a pairing on both. And it says it was paired successfully. And now it's time to calibrate. So I'm getting my AccuCheck meter ready, putting the test strip in. I'm gonna prick my finger. I do love this new pricker. You barely feel it. And I love the fact that I don't have to change the lancet often. I think it's every six days, which is pretty cool. Sugar's not bad. You do have to click the back arrow in order for it to send it to the pump. Or you can set it up in the settings for it to automatically send, but it doesn't send right away if you don't. Go ahead and click that back arrow. So it did send it to my pump. I'm gonna click yes. You always have to unlock your pump. Calibrate sensor. And then done. I'm not gonna give myself any correction. As you see, I have zero units active. I know it's upside down. And now here is the app. I just love this app. So it tracks your sugars, your meals. As you can see the little insulin bottles is actually when I gave myself a bolus for meals. The little blood drop is when I did a test to calibrate. <laughs> and it shows you the insulin active. Click on that so you guys can see what the alerts look like when my sugar went to 200 so it's high. And I just love this new system. Thank you guys for watching comment down below don't forget to thumbs up this video and until next time bye